This is what the program looks like on my M4 while it's updating the bias. This was really easy to do. I really am glad I did it. Okay, I'm going to update my bias on my X3650 M4. And it's the same procedure for an M1, M2, M3, M5, whatever. Just uh, go into tab here and punch in. I'm punching in my case IBM X3650 M4 bias update download Lenovo. If you want to go to the Lenovo data center, that's the key. You don't want to go to IBM because you won't find the software there. It'll drive you crazy trying to find it. But you can punch your serial number in here if you want to. Drivers and software. Just click on that. Right here, Lenovo X Clarity Essentials. Update Express BOMC. That's where I'm going for this software for the Windows box. All right. It comes up here and it says uh, X Clarity Essentials Bootable Media Creator Any OS. So click there. Now it brings up a list, and you can see it's B O M C for R H E L L S L E S. This right here is Red Hat Linux. This is SUSE Linux. This right here, B O M C for Windows. That's the one I want because I'm using a Windows box to do the update. Read me right here will help guide some of the stuff if you uh, if you're doing a different operating system, but you just got to get the right one for your operating system. Windows is very easy, so we're going to do that. Go ahead and download it. Okay, I got to install it on my machine. Okay, now after you did your executable, just go ahead and run this as an administrator. It has to be run as an administrator. Okay. Descriptive name. That's fine. Loading previously saved configuration. No. Check for latest tool version. No, we just downloaded this. Don't need to. So I'm going next. Now it's asking for a targeted platform. I'm looking for an M4. So I'm looking for a 7915 in my case. Right there. Next. Okay, now it says media purpose update. And then enable task auto run. In this case, I want it to run as soon as it boots up right on it. Now it says you can go with latest available individual updates or express pack. I'm going to just go ahead and go with express pack. If you need a driver or something like that, you can do this particular one. It's a much uh, much more data and a lot of drivers and, and stuff like that. All right, I don't need to do a test connection or proxy server, so I'm going next. All right, it's telling me where it's going to go. That's fine. Put next. Write directly to device or write to image file. Uh, that's your options. I tried to go to a CD DVD already. It didn't work. Um, I have a DVD I plugged in with USB and it wouldn't do it. So I uh, ended up having a right to an image file. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to name it a certain name so I can find it a little bit easier. All right, a little bit more user friendly. Now I need to know which mode.
go next now it's going to give us a synopsis of the system machine type and what it's downloading and where it's going to end up at image file name the target directory now it's working on the download it's connecting to the server okay so I got 38 updates I'm gonna go next Okay, now it's done, and there's all the information it downloaded. All right. It says the image file path is C, users Greg for desktop working dir bootable dash x3650m4 bias ISO. So you're going to need that directory. Let's take a look. All right, bootable X3650 M4 bias. That should be the one. That is correct. So that's the one I'm going to need to put to my DVD. I'm going to need that. Move it to my desktop so I know where it's at. Okay, we could take a look at these tools in here to see what they are. You can see there's quite a few of them. IMM2 update, hard disk drive, network, server RAID, UEFI. There's a lot of goodies in there. Okay, now I'm going to go next and then finish. Are you sure you want to exit? Yep, I'm done. Okay, just need to put my file on a disk. Okay, so I just right clicked on here and just Burn disk image, selected that, and then verified after I was done. That's all I had to do. Here's the disk. Here's the properties. Total capacity is 4.37 gigabytes. I figured I'd throw it up here in case you was wondering. You want to do this on a uh, USB stick, you can. You just use your Rufus. Just use Rufus and follow directions. That's all you got to do is just run it through here and then select the ISO through here okay and it'll make you a bootable USB so I made that disk and I just put it in the machine and turn the machine on I had already set the bias so it would boot to the DVD and it booted up on it and then it just uh, went right to work and just follow right along 
tell it okay and start and all that stuff when it asks you. That's all you got to do. All right, have a good one.